Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. On this channel, I often start my videos by asking how you're doing, wishing you a lovely day, and then immediately proceeding to ruin your day by telling you about something in the world that sucks, or something that's anti-small business, anti-consumer, anti-freedom, or anti-ownership. And many of you ask, Lewis, why don't you discuss the positive things going on in your space? And I would love to. The problem is that there just aren't that many. However, today we have one, and I wanted to talk about it with all of you. Two years ago, I had a conversation with Mr. Jeremy Soller, an engineer at System76, a very pro-consumer laptop company that tries to make devices that are very Linux compatible, so when you're installing Linux on them, you're not going to have some of the issues you may have with other manufacturers, and he also tries to make open devices that respect the consumer. This means making devices that are right-to-repair friendly. And he had did an excellent interview with me. It's 46 minutes long. I highly suggest you listen to it. They were really great laptop company. And he recently announced that the Virgo laptop PCB design is going to be open to the public, GPL V3 licensed. This is going to be one of the most open laptop motherboards that you have ever seen. Not just will you have schematics and stuff like that available, but the actual design of the motherboard over here you can find on GitHub, and it is going to be an entirely open-sourced motherboard for this laptop project that they're doing. It says over here on Pharonix, for months, Linux hardware vendor System76 has been teasing their in-house designed and manufactured Virgo laptop to be built at their facility in Denver. They're hoping to develop the quietest, yet most performative Linux laptop. Today, they published the initial open source design files for their custom motherboard PCB in this laptop. System76 has begun making the Virgo laptop PCB design specs. These PCB design specs are licensed under the GPL V3. This is going to be probably one of the most open laptops that you'll be able to buy when it comes out. And again, my hat's off to 76 for doing something like this. This is the type of thing similar to Framework, where I would pay more money for the same specifications just to be buying from a company that treats their users in the manner that they do. What they're doing here is something that is almost unheard of by virtually any other laptop company. I wish them the best of success with it, and I would be more than happy, humbled, and honored when this comes out to support this company with my money. Even if it meant that I was sacrificing a feature here or there that I really like or care about, I want to send the message that I like companies that do things like this. And if you like companies that do things like this, please do check them out. Check out their blog. Check out Jeremy Solar here on this link. I'll leave it down below for anybody who wants to follow what he says. He's a really cool engineer working at a great company that seems like they want to do great stuff. Again, a lot of the, I, I would like nothing more than to publish happy news in this channel. I want to publish news that says that John Deere is giving farmers access to what they need to fix their tractors. I want to publish video saying that Apple is finally allowing me to buy component schematics from them directly rather than having to wait for them to show up on Venafix or some shit like that. I want to go over good news. I want to be able to come here and say that I can buy a screen directly from LG or AU Optronics again like we used to in the old days or that I can buy a CD3217 from Texas Instruments rather than rip it off a donor board or buy it from some guy from CIC which is probably crapping him out of their ass and writing CD3217 on them, which is why half of the chips I bought in my last batch don't work. I want to publish good news. In my corner of the world, there isn't that much. So when something like this comes out, I thank the company and the engineers responsible for making it so. Thank you very much, and I wish you the best of success and luck with your company and business. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.